Hello everyone, welcome back to a new additional tutorial here for Metal Gear MSX, the PS2 variant, where I'm going to show you how to cross the Desert 1, uh, in particular how to prepare for the tank skip. Now there's two methods that we can do it, the first one is we go right, we align ourselves with our one ammo count, or the 10th digit, we go up here into the truck, grab a ration, right, and we go out. Then we will approach the tank from the right side. From the right side, though, we have an issue. We need to delay a little bit. We either stand still and walk, or alternatively, when we approach from the right, uh, thanks to Joseph, Joseph 416, we can just go up and punch once and then cross the tank. Problem is that it's not ideal. Let me show you what that means by showing you the more direct version. This is when you don't need a ration. You just walk up, avoid the mines on the floor, and you approach the tank from the left. From the left, we don't need to delay. We can just walk immediately in front of his right thread and keep on walking up. And if you compare it side by side, you can see that you will actually get hit by the tank immediately as if you would touch it. So basically on the same frame or one frame before. And that makes it so that our iframes that we have will actually carry us throughout the entire tank just by approaching from the left and walking up. Even if the tank were to set backwards, Right, and would technically be longer in our hitbox. Our iframes would still be long enough because we basically started these iframes um, the last possible moment. Now, if we do this from the right, that is usually because we want a ration. I'm going to show you two alternate versions, which we haven't really shown in the tutorial. So what you can do is, of course, if you want to go and get the ration, walk to the right here, walk up all the way, get the ration as usual, right? And then just immediately hold left and go up this center line. Okay, it's basically just one texture of whatever. Go up here, then go right, then go up, and you will always be hit immediately from the tank. That's because the tank is always reliable in the beginning. The tank will always move forward and shoot with his right frets. Alternatively, you can also do this version where you go up and then turn right. There's really no benefit for you. It's basically the same distance traveled. You go in, you take the ration, and then you return back to that line that I showed you before. Doesn't really matter too much. If you grab the ration either way, you will lose some time, but it's probably still worth it. And as you can see, it's very easy. If you approach the tank from the left, move to the right and then go up, you will always be perfectly timed with the tank that will be hit in the last possible moment and you can just hold up. There's no delay possible and necessary as well. Versus when you are coming from the right side, you always have to delay just a little bit so you can get the iframes first and then walk through the tank. From the left approach, you will always be shot, you will always be safe. That's why in later versions when you just use that left side desert one, it is way way easier and you can basically not mess it up. The risk is of course that the tank could technically shoot you and you would have less health in the beginning of building two. But other than that, it's fairly easy, just keep on walking. As you can see here, I did not delay at all, I did not stop pushing up on the d-pad on my gamepad. All right, that's the in-depth tutorial and variations for Desert 1 and Tank Skip. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the other parts again, and hopefully soon on the leaderboards.